pesticides can enter your body through four routes. Your skin, your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Knowing the symptoms of exposure through these routes and knowing what to do if you or a coworker are exposed to pesticides is important for everyone's safety. Many of the pesticide exposures and injuries in agriculture result from pesticides entering the body through the skin. This happens when your skin comes in contact with pesticides or pesticide residue on plants, soil, dirty work clothes, contaminated equipment, or even your phone. Some pesticides can cause skin irritation, or they can pass through the skin and be absorbed into the bloodstream. If you think your skin has come in contact with a pesticide or pesticide residue, wash it off immediately with soap and water to slow down or stop your skin from absorbing more of the pesticide. If the decontamination supplies are far away, rinse off in the nearest clean water, such as a stream or pond. As soon as possible, follow up by washing with soap and water, shampooing your hair, and changing into clean clothes. If you develop any symptoms from the exposure, get medical attention. Pesticides can get into your eyes from airborne dust or particles, splashes or spills, broken hoses, spray mists, by rubbing them with contaminated hands or dirty PPE. The tissues of the eye are extremely absorbent. Because of this, pesticides can easily move to other parts of your body. This can be very dangerous. If a pesticide gets into your eye, flush it out by rinsing with an eye wash kit or any source of clean water. Make sure that the water flow is gentle and that your head is turned so that the injured eye is below the good eye. This will stop contaminated water from going into the unaffected eye. Keep the injured eye as wide open as you can and continue flushing for at least 15 minutes. To avoid further eye injury, make sure that the water is clean, not too hot, and never put anything in the water or in the eye. Get medical attention as soon as possible. Pesticides can enter your mouth when you eat, drink, smoke, chew tobacco, or chew gum without first washing your hands, or when you eat produce without washing it first. Never eat or drink from any container used for pesticides, even if the container has been washed. If a person accidentally drinks a pesticide, tell your employer immediately. Follow the emergency first aid directions that are on the pesticide label and get the person to a medical facility quickly. Never make a person vomit unless you are advised by medical personnel or the first aid statement on the product label. Pesticide exposure can also occur by inhalation or breathing in pesticide vapors, dust, or spray particles through your nose and mouth. This type of exposure is more serious with some pesticides than others, particularly fumigant pesticides, which form gases. Once in the lungs, Pesticides can enter other parts of the body very quickly and damage other organs. In these type of exposures, always get medical attention immediately. If you or someone else is exposed to pesticides through drift, a spill, or some other way, go to a safe location, decontaminate immediately, and tell your employer or supervisor. If you are experiencing symptoms from a pesticide exposure, your employer must provide you with transportation to the nearest emergency medical treatment facility. Remember, you can find the contact information for a nearby medical facility and information about the pesticide that may have been involved displayed at the central location during work hours. Your employer is also required to give emergency medical personnel the safety data sheet or SDS information on the pesticide product, and a detailed description of how the pesticide was used and how the exposure may have happened. To avoid further contamination, do not give an open pesticide container to medical personnel.